हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दैनल टू अंडरस्टैंड दी कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी क्लियरली प्लीज वॉच दी वीडियो टिल दी एंड वंस यू आर डन विथ वॉचिंग दी वीडियो डू नॉट फॉर्गेट टू लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सो हाउ टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर प्रोसेस्ड इन पी डी वी इन दिस करेंट वीडियो वी वुड सी हाउ वन सेट स्टेटमेंट विथ आईदर टू और मोर देन टू टेबल्स आर प्रोसेस्ड इन पी डी वी in the same way here also we would have three section first section section will be input section with two tables which are same as we used in the previous example second section will be for pdb and third section is for output so when we start the processing when sas starts the processing and we give the instruction first of all sas validates the syntax if the syntax is correct then sas moves to the input area and look into the first table and checks the structure copies the structure to the pdv area and then move to the second table and from there copies the structure and checks if there is some one column it merges them and whatever additional column it finds in the next table it is placed at the next of the last variable read from the previous column or the first uh, sorry previous table or from the first table and once it is completed in pdv it is again placed in the output populated in the output area now once it is completed then sas again go back goes back to the table 1 and look for the first observation when it copies the first observation that is placed in pdv area to the corresponding columns and from there again it is placed in output section to the corresponding column again sas now this time sas does not goes back to second table in the previous video you saw that after reading the first observation sas went back to the second table went to the second table and not to the first table but that's the difference over here when you use one set statement for multiple tables it first reads all the observation from the first table then it moves to the next table so sas will go to the first table again and it will read the second observation and it will place them in the corresponding column and from there it will output them in the output area now all the observe now again sas will go to the first table and look for the observation but it does not find any observation it's the end of the observation in first table so sas will move to the next table and from there it will copy the first observation first observations once first observations are copied then it will look for the value and place them into their corresponding columns because in the second table we had contact name contact name is placed in the corresponding column but here in pdv it has a space for transaction amount but in second table it does not have any transaction amount variable what will happen in that case in that case sas populates the missing value in transaction variable transaction amount variable now because the transaction amount variable was numeric it populated a missing value if this could have been character then sas would have populated blank okay now once the missing value is populated then the remaining value will be populated to the place to the corresponding column and from there again this entire observation this entire one complete observation will be placed in the output again sas will go back to the table 2 and copy the second observation or next observation to the pdv area again this the uh, values from second table will be placed in the corresponding columns or variables in pdv whatever is missing in the whatever is missing in the second table a missing value will be populated and then the remaining value will be populated in their corresponding variables and once the observation is completed that will again be populated to the output area 
So this is how SAS processes the one set statement with multiple tables. So the main difference to which needs to be noted in multiple tables with multiple set statement and multiple tables with one set statement is in multiple tables with multiple set statements one observation from each of the table are processed in pdb in each of the step but with multiple tables one state set statement in that case all the observation from first table are processed in the first then sas moves to the next and then all observation observations from the next table are processed in pdb and populated in output as we just saw in this example so i just hope that you like the, this, this video and you understand the concept just in case if you have any kind of doubt please do not forget to put your doubt in the comment section we will definitely get back to you and we will 100 percent try to clear your doubts thanks once again for watching the video wish you very very good luck